Hi everyone, have you been reading lately? Have you? I know I have. Today, I will be telling you guys about my favorites, my favorite books, my favorite book, my favorite author, my favorite cover, my favorite series, and my favorite character. Hey look, I have a dog! <gasps> so, let's just jump right in because I've already recorded this like two times already. My favorite cover right now is a book I just got yesterday. Say Anything by Sarah Dessen. I've heard good things about this author. I've heard good things about this book. I've never read a Sarah Dessen book. I know. I know. Shame on me. Shame on me. I have not read a Sarah Dessen book. I am appalled by my own tenacity. But this is my first Sarah Dessen book. I'm excited. I'm only 11 pages in, but so far, so good. So I'm excited for that. That is my favorite cover. If you haven't noticed it yet, it's very pretty and glowy, and the texture of this cover is amazing. Usually I don't like hardback covers with jackets because they move, they come off. You know, that's just annoying to me. I, I don't like that. So what I did is I taped it front and back. I taped it so that I wouldn't be as annoyed with it because I don't want to be annoyed with this book. I love it so far. So that's that one. Next up is my fave series. My favorite series is The Inheritance Cycle. If you haven't read this series, shame on you. You are not a bookworm until you have read this series. It is amazing. The character builds the world so well. He builds the characters so well. The dragons in this, this series are amazing. They're like sentient beings. Yeah, he likes... I didn't tape this one, obviously. I... It's very pretty though. I just wish they did something with the front of the cover so I didn't need this jacket. But he has such a detailed map. It's upside down, by the way. He gives you the languages. He makes up all these words. He puts the, the map in the back as well. He was only like 24 when he wrote this. And then he makes up all the words in the language. Well, a lot of the words in the language. He gives you all these words of all the different languages as he puts them in the book like a good spice to flavor it and he just takes care of this series i am very proud of him don't watch the movie if you already have watched the movie disregard it erase it from your mind and get this book it is worth the read my next favorite is my favorite book that i own and shout out to Ario Bassett because she just put out a video recently about annotating your books and writing in it and dog earing the pages and actually getting personal with your books and I have always thought that's a good idea and I've done it with only one book so far and that is my favorite book which is the poem collection of Anne Sexton. She and Sylvia Plath were friends. They both wrote poetry back in the 60s and I have bookmarked this page. It has been chewed up by a big Labrador. Uh, I drew an alien. I drew an alien you guys. I drew an alien you guys. But I have highlighted things in this book. I've written in this book. I've highlighted in this book. I've marked my favorite poems. I have wrote things. I can always come back to this book and find something different and have a new perspective on a poem and look at what I've written in here and go, well, that's different for me now. That changed for me. I see something else in this poem now. So that's why this is my favorite book. My eyelashes are sticking together. Okay, awesome. My, f my next favorite is my favorite character and that would be Sydney Sage. 
a lot of you people already know who that is and love her as well and she is my favorite because she first off because she's in the bloodline series and that is spin-off from the vampire academy series the main reason why she's my favorite character is because she changes her her view on life she was raised a certain way she was raised to hate vampires and to detest them and to just go along this certain little line with these certain little specifications and not do anything out of order and everything has to have its place and she's raised that way and then she's put off into the vampire world to uh, protect someone who is very very important and she's there and at first she's just you know petrified of everyone and everything and just so out of place but then as you go along her view changes and she opens up and she becomes a different person and pretty much rebels against what she was raised on and it's very interesting to read through her story and her point of view and just see her change and doubt herself and then accept new things so she is my favorite character oh i forgot author my favorite my favorite author is patrick rothfuss and the name of the wind series because he just the way he writes about it how he describes the main character's feelings and emotions and how he goes about describing the story in whole is just awesome i need to get the third book about called the quiet in the quiet disposition of things or something i don't know i probably failed on that title but I need to get it i have not been catching up on any of my favorite series at all i am i'm very bad with this i'm very bad with this you guys that is my favorites i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want you can tell me about your favorites in the comments below and check out all the other videos that i've done and i will see you guys next time happy reading